Let's take a look at graphing using uh, the Desmos, Desmos, if I'm saying it right, calculator. Up here, you'll see the little box. You can type in, uh, for example, y is equal to x. That'd be my graph. Now, if I wanted to do a squared, you could do your caret, which is above your 6, 2, and that gives you x squared. Now, backspace gets rid of those. I could also do an x key. And you see uh, this uh, button down here that says uh, A squared. If I click that, it puts the squared on there for me. Okay. X to the third. If I did my X key, and I push this button down here that says A to the B power, then it puts it up in the exponent, and I can put 3 there. And that would be um, X to the third. You could put anything in, any uh, power. You do a backspace a couple times. If I want x to the one half, I do x, push my a to the b, and then I want to do one divided by two. It actually creates a fraction. Now, if I want to do the square root, you see down here is a square root button. So I click that, put x in, and there's my square root. Now, if I want to do something after the square root. I simply do my right arrow key to move it to the right, and then, like for example, I could do a plus three. That shifts it up three, which you'll see later on in the course. Now, um, there's an absolute value right here. So, if I wanted the absolute value of of x minus two, then I just type in that. If I want something after the absolute value, I do a right arrow key to get it out of the absolute value, and I do plus one. That would shift it um, right to and up one. Now you got functions here. If I click that, this gives you some other options. These are trig based. You shouldn't have much use to that. Uh, these are statistics, which you um, might not have much use for that. And here's uh, some miscellaneous ones. Um, you you may find uh, if you want to do uh, like a nth root. You can choose this one. So I put a 3 in, do my right arrow key, and choose x. This is the cube root. Now I could go to my left and put a 4 in there. I'm just doing a backspace in case you're wondering how I'm changing that. And then I'm typing new, num new numbers. Okay. If I choose functions, uh, let me see what other one might be useful. We already looked at absolute value, which is over here. Um, here's some logs. If I wanted to uh, graph a log, I could do exp and um, put an x there. This uh, would be e to the x power. Now let's say I don't have it solved for y. I, for example, have x squared plus y squared equals 9. Well, I can just type that in. x squared. And how, how I did that is I did my x key. I did my caret, which, which is shift 6. Or you can do this a squared here plus y squared. And I can push this a squared here equals 9. And that gives me my, um, my circle. Now, if I had... Uh, x or 5x squared, let's say, right arrow, minus 2y squared equals 1. Then that gives us our graph there. Very nice graphing um, program for this. Now over here is a um, zoom in, zoom out. So if you're, you're trying to get a better picture, better view, you can uh, use those if you want to. But that's uh, graphing uh, with decimals. And here's how you show the key keypad if it disappears.